Hi, hello. So in this video, we are going to see how to query data using uh, the JavaScript framework. So once again, uh, I'm going to talk about view components. So if you haven't seen the previous videos about view components, so custom label and display associated data, well, you should look at it. I'm going to go, I mean, faster on the on the basic now. So in our example what we want is to display data. So in Innovation Studio we have records, record definition, and uh, those data can be uh, just displayed for example, I mean if with a grid for example, or some out-of-the-box object, but sometimes we want to display the data and to use the data inside our JavaScript code. So. In the previous video, we saw how to get associated data. In this video, we are going to see how to access just data from a record definition. So in the example, display data using JavaScript, you can see I'm displaying there is a GUID and the description field for all the record uh, definition. So how I am doing that? So you will find the source code inside display data under view components in sample library. So you can see that this one is a bit more complex than the previous ones. We have got uh, a model service and a design service file. So I will explain why. So if we are looking inside the view, so you can see we have f uh, three input parameters. But you can see here, s this one is uh, different than the previous one we saw. Before, the previous example we saw was pretty simple. It was like this, you could select a field, or you can just enter a value, like this. But this one is a bit different. We are using a record definition picker. So we are going to see how we can do that. So once again, this one, uh, is somewhere here display data using javascript is a view component so is it how is it working inside the code so as always we have a module where we declare our view component and then we declare our view component inside the main project inside the bx module and xmodule.js you will find the same declaration so this one, you can see that uh, in um, in the previous um, view component, we were using only maybe only view component. This one, we need some ex additional resources in from the framework. So that's why we are going to import record definition and record instance. So the second file is a configuration file. So we can find our free uh, input parameters. So record definition name, field ID to display, field label to display, that you can find here. Nothing special about it so far. We still have our design directive. So the design directive is uh, uh, the code used during design phase uh, in view designer. Nothing special. And here there is something a bit special that we have a design service.js we didn't have in the previous view component. Why do we have this one? So this one is a factory. So come example sample library display data design that you can find here. This is an extra parameter we didn't have before. The design manager service with the name here that you can find here. So what is it? This the idea on this one is we have some input parameters type string but we want to display for example a special inspector what we call an inspector is this so here we want to say that we don't want the the customer or someone the developer to just type for example like the name of the record definition it could be it could be a typo, it could be something, and we'd, it would be harder to debug. So we just want to provide a pickup, for example, a record definition pickup. So the idea on this one is you can find all free input parameters with some types. So the default type is Rx inspector expression not field. 
that will display something like this. So the default uh, editor. But this one is different. This one is the RX definition, definition picker and we want to display the regular records. When you do that, automatically uh, when you do the type Eric's inspector definition picker and the type is regular record in this case you will have this and you will be able to um, select your record definition so basically when you import when you create a design manager service you want to override what is inside properties by name and you want for example to associate with it some extra information. So you can see here that the label is different. Before the label was taken from field ID to display replacing uh, an uppercase by a space and lowercase for example. But here you can set up the label and you can set up a group and you can set up an index. So the grouping would be for example you can see everything is under general but if you wanted to create several groups like general like record definition options and so on you could, could create different groups. So this one is general, so you can find it here. But you can create another one, like for example options. So exactly the same with the label and in index 2. And you could use for example here, you could use options. So you can you have more options in this case on this one if you are using a design service. So this design service is a bit different. So this one you don't need to change. This is uh, you will not need to change this one. The getRx data you can find here your information. So we map a value record definition name with uh, the name of the parameter you can find in properties by name in the config.js file. So we map the value. And here we declare the value. So you should return a model. And you can see here we return a com example sample library display data model. And you can see here we have another file which is the model in itself. So this model in itself is what is going to uh, what is going to happen when you are going to select, for example, your record definition in the pickup. So here, for example, we saw that we have Rx data and record definition name that you can find here. So this one is basically listening to what is what is happening when the value is modified. So when the value from Rx data record definition name is modified, uh, we are going to load the record definition and we are going to check that the record definition actually exists. If the record definition actually exists, then we are happy and we are just setting that in record definition, we are storing record definition. So here, here is the unchanged Rx data is, we say what happens when the Rx data record definition name is modified, so we are calling this function. So in this case it's quite uh, easy, just we are just storing the record definition name in this case. So don't really focus on this code yet. We are just storing it. So once we are storing, so this is for the design phase. Or everything is all for that is design phase. So for the directive in itself, for the runtime, we still have our HTML. It's just a table with uh, the data where we do an ng repeat here, and we have of course our directive. So in our directive, we are getting uh, our input parameters from the object Rx configuration properties by name. So, record definition name, field ID to display, field label to display. 
Once we get our information, what we are going to do is we are going to use a framework object, a Rex record instance data page resource uh, with name, with the name with name method. So the idea here is that we are telling the system that we are going to access the record definition name we chose during design time. So dummy record. Then we are going to use this object and do a get query. So as we saw in the previous video, 100 is the number of data we want to fetch. Zero is the index we will start, and the query param the parameters we are sending. So in our case, query parameters contain a property selection. Property selection is uh, a list of fields you want to display, you want to get back. So you don't need, you don't send your uh, display name of your field, you give the, the field IDs. So for example, here I want the field 8, 1, 179. 179, actually I want 7. So 7 is a status. And I want the field I selected during design time, which is the field number 8, which is description. So property selection is a list, comma separated of field IDs I want to fetch back. Query expression is an expression uh, to filter the data. So in my case, I want all the data where matching the expression 7, so not equal to 3. So I want the, va the, the record instance where the status field, which is 7, is not 3 being rejected. So I'm passing these parameters and uh, when I do my get I will have a promise and I can get the result inside the data object. So once again if I do this and I refresh You can see I got free record definition, so I can use here is a REST API that is sent to the backend. So I can find my query expression, I can find my property selection, and in the data, in the answer, I got my data with three entries in my array. With the data, I have seven, eight, the field, uh, the key value pairs, field ID value, seven for status, a description, 179 for the go ID. I have just go through it through energy repeat and I just display it. So in this video just I want to really talk about the design service and the model service. Don't focus too much on this one, just reuse it. The only thing important to know is uh, this will not change. This uh, is what is the name of the record definition uh, that will be modified later here and used with a special inspector. So what happens when this value is modified Rx data record definition name? When it's modified here we are going to load the record definition and if the record definition is correct we just store it. So we don't actually need that code it's just that we are going to see in another example why it's useful. Because here we just select one record definition, but what if we wanted to get the field IDs for this record definition? We would need to store the object. So, get the ID, we'll come uh, on it later in another example.